The doctor's company analyzed 54 medical malpractice claims against interventional radiologists that closed from 2013 to 2018. Communication between patient and provider played a role in a quarter of these claims and was most often related to inadequate consent for invasive procedures. There was also a lack of consultation between physicians. One case highlights these key issues. A 79-year-old patient with a history of COPD, chronic atrial fibrillation, hypertension, and peripheral vascular disease presented to the interventional radiologist for fluoroscopic-guided intrathecal contrast injection of lumbar spine for a CT myelogram. The radiologist learned the day of the procedure that the patient was taking Xarelto for chronic atrial fibrillation, but decided to proceed. The risks, benefits, and alternatives of the procedure were discussed with the patient, but there was no documentation of this discussion. Following the procedure, the patient developed internal bleeding in the lumbar area and aseptic meningitis. He now has limited strength in his legs, difficulty with speech, and other neurological sequelae. Expert reviewers were critical of the lack of documentation of the informed consent discussion and that the black box warning to be off Xarelto for 24 hours prior to the procedure was not followed. They also stated that the radiologist should have called the prescribing physician to discuss the patient's situation, or should have consulted with a cardiologist or vascular surgeon before making the decision to proceed with the procedure. It is vital that a thorough informed consent process is performed for every invasive procedure, and that it is properly documented in the record that the patient accepted the risks of the procedure.